do you know that you can screen record within film or pro 9 itself if you don't know this is the video for you so you can take advantage of this software that you pay a lot of money for welcome back to my youtube channel this is me and we are still on i want to show you guys how to screen record using film or pro software it's going to be a quick and easy and fast video but stick around and watch till the end because you don't want to miss anything if you're watching for the first time please subscribe so you can become part of the family you don't want to miss anything hit the bell and turn it on so you get notified every time i upload a new video let's go right into the video So right now I'm on my desktop window and I'm going to launch the program by clicking on its icon, that's the Filmora icon. So when a small window pops up, of course we're going to go on and click OK. On that third window that is popping up, just like you can see there is new project. In the blue box and then on the side of it there is open project and on the right side there is the list of the project or the project library like you can see but we're gonna stick with a new project because that's what we're gonna use so click on the new project this will take you direct to the firmware display window and that's how it looks like if you've not been there before but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go in the upper left corner and click on the file so click on file So when the window pops up, scroll through and go down and find the word record media. So just like you can see on the right side of record media, there is a small window that popped up with record from webcam or record PC screen or record voiceover. We're going to go on and concentrate on record PC screen because that's what we want to use right now. So go up and select the record PC screen. This will take us right to our desktop, just like you can see our desktop is lined with borders. And these borders, you can use them, of course, to customize the screen or the window that you want to use by just dragging them to the area that you want to record on your laptop. Or if you don't want to customize to any area, you just drag it back up and you can now, or, and you can then record the whole screen of your laptop. If you don't do it manually, you can go on and press the full screen drop down menu. It will show you custom so you can customize to the size you want. Then you go on and of course select if you want to use the record computer system audio as your audio or you want to use an external microphone. So you go to onto the mic. You want to click one of the two on select it and the other and turn off the other one if you don't want to use one of them but you can only use one option so next to that there is a red button that's the turning the turn on button when you select it you're going to be turning on recording but of course we can't record without checking the deep settings so you want to know where your folder is going to be saved after your recording and you want to check the frame rates frame rates is really very important to your footage so you want to select 30 fps per or 30 frame rates per second because the higher the better quality then we'll go on and check the quality whether it's good better and best and we'll select best because we all want the best quality of course so down the record timer i really don't want to record any time for the stop of my video so i won't select that then we'll go down to the mouse that's a very important area you want to make sure that that blue box is blue it's lighting blue it's clicked before you start recording because then your cursor is going to be visible if you don't record click it your cursor is going to be transparent and it won't be as clear as you make your tutorial or your video so you have two options you can click the play mouse click sound or you can take the upper part so but you know you better know that you can only choose one option if both of them are blue like that then they won't even work so the rest is not so important right now we're gonna go back to our, our red button so close the setting button and then go back to the click the red button that will take you to the recording it will take you down and it will has you have to wait for the countdown of three to one before the recording starts 
so right now we are recording in filmower just like you can see our screen shows that the filmower red button that i'm showing you there is on and that shows that we are in filmower so you can just go on and open that down small window and maximize it so click on it it will just pop up like that and you will be back in view more display window so here you can do everything that you want to do from editing tutorials showing how to insert text insert elements and all that you want to show your audience or any anyone you want to teach so i'm just gonna show you how you import folders or files so you can record them i pressed on import then i went to my desktop and clicked a folder any folder because i'm not editing anything just drag it and drop it in the display window on the left and that's all then when you have it there you can just drag it down to the timeline and you start like doing whatever you want to do with that folder as long as you already screen recording so i'm not going to go deep into the editing part because this video is just about screen recording it's not about editing but if you want to know anything about editing any film or anything in film or let me know in the comment section below i'll be grateful to let you guys know or make a video about it so after recording your content just click on the button that you customized at the beginning of your setting and your recording will stop automatically and it will be saved in a folder video so thank you guys a lot for watching i'm Mimi michelle and we are still on Mimi Sport. so if you like this content or this kind of content let me know what you think about the tutorial and if you want to see more of such tutorials of course let me know in the comment section below i'll be grateful to know what you think about them and what you like and that's what i'll produce if you give this video a like it will show me that you love the content and i'll keep producing more so we'll see us in my next video and peace a sign out